Hello, everybody, and welcome to Valiant Victories with Benny Decker. Ooh, screaming children in the background. That's a good deal. Uh, that's that they're being watched, uh, you know, uh, I think. And no, no, they really are. Um, but anyway, ooh, this is my second time recording this video. The first time I got to the end and pressed stop, and then it didn't happen. So there we go. So, oh, life life is just going just great so far. But anyway, did you get your Bloodshot Unleashed issue one? I've got the uh, pre-order one. Look at that cover. Mamma mia, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, uh, whatever, you really should pull a Todd Lewis a trademark. Uh, get all the covers you can. Oh, my goodness, they're all beautiful. Oh, my goodness, there's not a bad one in the bunch. But uh, let's get started with the credits. So, the writer for this one is Dennis Camp, uh, artist John Davis Hunt, colorist Jordi Belair, uh, letter Hassan Asmani Alao, and oh, there's a lot to dig into this. Um, I did read the ash can earlier, so I was familiar with the story, but uh, man, these uh, colors that get on here, ooh, it takes it to a whole nother level. Uh, there's a page uh, in particular that I'll uh, highlight if I can remember. Uh, about uh, what a nice job the colors do really to help tell the story too. So uh, uh, we're going to start out with then. Uh, they do a lot of time jumping with then and now, and it uh, makes it very obvious. But uh, then it's getting into Bloodshot. He's, uh, his hand shaking a little bit. And uh, oh, you know what? I didn't mention. Uh, uh, this is mature readers. Um, there are a lot of uh, heavy topics. There's a lot of violence, a lot of gore, uh, self-harm. So if that is a triggering thing for you or somebody you know, uh, either don't read it or don't recommend it to them. Um, but definitely worth worth the read. Oh my goodness, very worth it if, if that is not something that is triggering to you. So there we go. Just saying that uh, little warning before we get going because as you can uh, probably guess what's going to happen... On the next page, uh, we're getting right into the gore there. Look at that. Bloodshot is shooting himself. And uh, this is great for new readers. Just getting everybody up to speed that, you know, oh, he can take all this damage and it can, he can heal himself right up there. Um, and getting into uh, uh, some of the backstory, not uh, uh, going pages and pages. Okay, okay, we get it. Yeah. But going over who Bloodshot is... Um, and then it's showing uh, with the close-up there, you know, oh, what, ooh, what, the, what he's doing in the house there. Oh, I almost uh, missed it. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, the picture right here, there's ooh, continuity. We've got uh, Magic and Jesse there. Um, I don't know if that's insinuating that they are, are dead or just that uh, uh, he is not with them now at the moment. But, uh, oh, very nice to uh, stick with that continuity. We're getting to now. There's Bloodshot there, and he is in Liberty, PA, which we uh, find out if you got the uh, the extra goodie edition. That that's not a real place, but uh, which is good because man, look at the uh, the damage going on there. Uh, yes, you can see a lot of the gore there, um, and I think I mentioned this in my uh, uh, Ashcan uh, teaser video. Uh, look at the panels here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 panels on that page. John Davis Hunt, wherever you are, mwah, kiss your brain. Oh, the storytelling through the art is just something else. Uh, oh, and a very little uh, sneak there. You can see this little uh, the kid there with like a little, you can barely notice. And then Bloodshot's looking up. Oh, and then that kid's gone. And uh, uh, not to spoil it, but uh, if you look at the preview for issue two, that's a thread that's going to carry through. But uh, just a, a tasty little morsel there to drop. One of those which I think well, the first time when I was reading the ash can, uh, I didn't even pick up on it, uh, which... <laughs> I don't know. I, I was tired when I read it. But uh, no, it's, ooh, there's there's a lot to uh, to check out in this issue. So uh, make sure you uh, take it seriously and uh, don't read it while you're too tired. But here we go. Getting back to then, uh, Bloodshot is meeting up with uh, uh, somebody from a shadowy organization. And uh, this person is dealing with a lot of issues uh, by drinking. I'm bloodshot. Look at that. Did you see the uh, the pins? I didn't get one of those pins yet. Uh, hint. But uh, yeah, that's a cool pin. Uh, 
Yeah, but he's saying right there, I'm bloodshot. It's like in the movie where they say uh, the the title of the movie in it. Like, oh, that's that was cool. I like that. But uh, we're going through. She's saying that uh, you know, bringing this file here for Lieutenant Chambers from uh, a project Deep Pockets, um, and we get to meet Chambers right here, Lieutenant Robert Chambers. Uh, yeah, he's getting into. All of his backstory about how he was, uh, you know, oh, I fought here, I fought there, and all this. And uh, Bloodshot's kind of uh, trying to get some information from, you know, oh, well, you know, oh, well, I went here, I killed this, you know, I killed them, I killed them, then I had to kill that person, and then there we go. And then Bloodshot's saying, well, what about the people that, you know, there were kids out there, they weren't around, and Chambers is saying, well, no, they, they all have to go. So that's when Bloodshot uh, determines, okay, I've heard enough, and i got to stop you. So, oh, and then we're getting back to then. And this is really interesting. This uh, 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 We're finding out that there were other uh, organizations uh, similar to Project Rising Spirit that each had their own uh, projects, like Project Bloodshot. And all of the, uh, uh, the uh, samples, specimens, uh, folks that they worked on ended up in a place they called The Dump. Um, which kind of reminded me of like a kind of evil, a little scarier version of uh, uh, the Willows. There we go. Is that right? From uh, 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 Secret Weapons, where they kind of just uh, put all the psyots that were not useful. So uh, uh, a somewhat common theme in Valiant, uh, where they, you know, oh, they, they get the people that they don't want and eh, just shove them over there. But uh, so, oh, look at this character here. Oh, I bet that person's going to come back to haunt them. Uh, but let's see, so uh, turn the page there. Uh, yeah, they're doing some more drinking, trying to go over. Uh, what was it? Yeah, oh, going over that said that there were 27 of these individuals that are, are on the loose. They're very violent, and they uh, are up to no good. Uh, but Oh, then we get to now, bloodshot going through a brick. And look at the details. Like, I uh, can't remember. Oh, no, it didn't come up. Oh, it's right there. Uh, the shattered glass panels there, the bricks, like John Davis Hunt, like, do you got to shake your hand out after you draw this page? Like, man, the detail, the love that you put into it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But uh, yeah, we're getting more uh, from Chambers. He's going on his, uh, his uh, verbal tirade there. Uh, oh, this, uh, this part up here, I think this is my only t minor little quibble. I don't know if this is a thing or not. Uh, a bloodshot pulls out a little packet that says protein, and it, it reminded me of Popeye, like, nah, 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 and with the spinach. And, uh, are there little packets of protein that just say protein on them? That could be. I did not do my research. Um, so I don't know. If that's a real thing, then, then, then this is a flawless issue. Uh, but otherwise, if that was the only thing that was like, with, uh, just protein? A protein? little like ketchup packet but with protein i don't know um but there we go so blood oh you can see him healing himself up there he's trying to take on chambers and chambers brought a big toy to share with bloodshot but yeah oh the oh the oh so skipping through some of the goodies there if you got the extra goodie edition there's lots of goodies oh especially here i'll i will show you that look at that character design john davis hunt you could have phoned it in but look at the pockets and the straps and like all the details on this character. You had to draw him so many times. Oh my goodness. But well, you put in all that love. So thank you very much. It, uh, it is appreciated. But here we go. Back to then. Uh, Bloodshot's talking with that agent again. And uh, she's asking, you know, oh, uh, so does it hurt when you, uh, yeah. And you can kind of see where that's going to lead to. And yeah. Ooh. So yeah, she's uh, she's not with us anymore. But on um, this page, uh, a combination of my lighting and my inferior uh, technology here, I don't know if you can tell, but with the uh, the coloring on this page, it's uh, very uh, gentle. It goes from dark and then it very gently lightens up to show the passage of time. And you can see that Bloodshot's really contemplating and he ends up picking up the file and reading it there. But uh, yeah, that coloring. It's one of those things where it's like, I read it uh, with the ash can without colors. And it's just like, oh, okay. But then once you get to the colors, you go, oh, wow. Oh, okay. 
And it wasn't a huge, drastic change. It didn't go from Pitch Black to uh, 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 Rise and Shine, as uh, Evie Decker uh, uh, says. Uh, it's, it's just a very gentle showing of the passage of time. And then, oh, speaking of passage of time, we're on to now. Uh, Chambers, he's he's really feeling pretty good about himself that he's got bloodshot on the ropes. But bloodshot, oh, he's taken, he's uh, in the driver's seat in this situation. <laughs> driver's seat it was even funnier the first time i said it in the first try of making the video uh but here we go bloodshot's going there he is not wearing a seat belt going through there look at that just like fiery bloodshot going through bloodshot's grabbing that big old gun and you can uh, probably guess what's gonna happen next uh it's like the fourth of july there you go and next howl so we can see from the little right up there howl is going to be a uh uh, I'm guessing a fictitious place in Michigan. And look at this. Look at that cover. Mama Mia. Oh, these covers. I don't know. Valiant always, I've always enjoyed their covers. But man, lately the cover game is just something else. Uh, I won't spoil uh, any, I don't know if you're, if you do read or don't read the little previews in the back, but uh, it's definitely picking up right where this issue left off. Um, it's, it's something else. So, uh, what did I think? Oh, did I button? Oh, I didn't button my shirt back up. Oh, there we go. Scandalous. This is mature, uh, mature readers, uh, issue here. Oh, I did it with one hand. Hooray. I'm, uh, oh, I'm just that good. Uh, what did I think of, uh, Bloodshot on Leash issue one? Um, this is a mature readers book. Uh, the topics are mature. The, uh, the art is mature. Um, and really the first time I read it, I don't think I let it sink in about it, um, especially with Chambers. And um, it, it kind of gets you in the mindset of like, uh, I thought of like a school shooting or something like that where you, the person that does it, and you just go like, how on earth could somebody do such a thing? They just, uh, I don't understand. But like getting into how a person can just keep taking abuse taking abuse taking abuse until the point where they're going to give abuse and it's a really it's a scary situation but it is dealt with with a lot of respect and uh just it's it's really uh this this issue here if you are a fan of valiant and you read it and you know of anybody that stepped away and you're like, well, you know i'll take a break you know i don't know how things are going like tell them no pick this up uh, there was, there's on one of the Valiant uh, Facebook pages, it was asking, oh, what's your favorite Valiant, or what's your favorite uh, Bloodshot series? And I, you know, half jokingly said, you know, oh, you know, it might be too early to say it, but Bloodshot Unleashed, ah, there we go, positive there. But really, this series, I don't know how they're going to top it. This, this is such a respectful treatment of the characters and the continuity, which, ooh, I love that. Um, it's serious. It is everything that I would want from... It's everything that I wanted out of Bloodshot that I didn't even know that I wanted. So uh, the art is beautiful. John Davis Hunt is a, a, a wonderful uh, a artist on this book. I liked his work before too. But uh, this one, oh, uh, Match Made in Heaven. The colors are great. Um, it really is like... It, it gets you sucked right in and really helps tell the story too. Like I said about the passage of time there. Uh, yeah, camp with the writing, like the dialogue is great. Um, the story is great. The treatment of these very mature topics is really great. Um, honestly, yeah, this is, is, you know, I don't know. I don't know about a ranking of total, like every Valiant title, but man, if this is how it continues, this is probably going to be uh, one of my favorites which uh, and I don't know if I've said before, like Bloodshot was always kind of like, oh, I don't know, you know, I, I'm not big on action, but like this is serious, heavy duty quality stuff. So I think my only concern besides a little uh, protein packet, which might be a thing, uh, they mentioned about there were 27 uh, escapees. Uh, I'm worried that this story is kind of too big to be told in four issues um because it's it's what it's looking like that they're going to do a four issue and then i don't know if they're going to take a break and come back to it or if it's going to try to try to wrap up but we got uh chambers in this issue so we got one 
out of 27. I don't know how we're going to get the other 26 uh, out in three remaining issues. So if that's if that's really the worst thing we have to worry about, uh, th that's not a terrible problem. But uh, no, really, uh, this book is the it's a beautiful it's a love letter to Bloodshot. It's a love letter to the fans. If if you don't enjoy it. Uh, unless it's something from uh, being triggered by some of the topics in there, then I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. This is, in my opinion, w one of the pinnacles of what we've gotten out of Valiant definitely in the last few years, but I'd say since 2012. So I can't recommend it highly enough. I think it's wonderful. I can't wait for issue two. It's sort of like uh, having a, a big juicy steak and you finish and go, oh, that was so satisfying. And then they bring out another steak and go, ooh, okay, ooh, I could, you know. But uh, it, it was incredibly satisfying on its own. But ooh, if you if you gave me issue two, I would be, i dig in right now. Uh, but anyway, what did you think of the issue? Do you think it's, uh, I think it's amazing. So uh, I hope you agree. Uh, but let me know. You can comment down below or uh, you can write to valiantvictories at gmail.com or valiantvictory on Twitter. Do you like my little nail? Oh, where is it? There we go. The little nail that's sticking out. I try to move stuff around sometimes, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, let me know. What did you think? Are you excited? What cover did you get? Uh, are we all going to go over to Todd's house and look at all of his covers? Here we go. Todd, I love you. Ah, you're a cool man. I want to be like Todd when I grow up. But uh, anyway, for now, uh, uh, stay valiant. <laughs> oh, I'm getting silly. And uh, uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody!